Hello everybody, this is David for Elizabeth Craft Designs. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Good to see you all. How's everybody doing? Hey Anita. Hi Belinda. Good to see you all. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a Friday play day. So we're going to play and I'm looking forward to it. I've got a nice plan. I've got a plan and I'm looking forward to it because I think it's going to be really pretty. I don't know. Normally I don't say that, but I do think so this time. So I hope it works out because normally I don't say it and it's, oh well. We'll see. Hi Dimfna. Hi Andrea. Hi Sandra. Good to see you. So yeah, the plan is there. Uh, I will talk you through it. I will show the products I'm going to use and then uh, we'll get to it. But I'm going to give people some time to come in on this beautiful Friday evening. Hi Femke. Hi Michelle. Hello. Hi Petri. Hi Sylvia. Good to see you all. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's fine, ready for a nice weekend. Oh, thank you, Anita. Well, it was fun yesterday. I, I made fun ATC cards. Um, it was really fun to do and uh, they turned out pretty well, must say. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Marie. Hi, Karine. Well, um, yeah, it's Friday and I'm going to work with the Christmas release that we just had in uh, the, the December Romance collection. And I'm going to be using December White, which is mainly uh, the, the page and the trees in there and some other bits and bobs, which I will share with you in a second. Um, so, yeah, let's, uh, uh, people are coming in nicely and don't forget to like, share and comment to be able to win the $50 gift certificate because you want that. Fun things, fun things at Elizabeth Craft Designs and like next Wednesday, um, yeah, the, the Estes collection will be on the website. You want it then, so yeah, use it. But of course, if you want it before that, don't wait and buy it from your local retailer. I'm just rambling on to fill the time for people to come in. <laughs> you get the gist. Okay, let's just switch the camera around, shall we? So what I've got here in front of me is my Christmas journal that I made. Uh, a while ago and it's holding up beautiful people were afraid that it was going to chip off and and no it's it's perfect it's and this has been to stores with me it's been flicked through quite a lot so yeah it holds its ground so that's good hi karen good morning hello larry hi candace so uh yeah what i'm doing is i'm going to be playing with uh the december romance collection and this is some of the packaging i made and yeah i'm just gonna work in that journal because I've got some empty space left here. So yeah, it's just fun to flick through. I love it. Yeah. So, but these pages, uh, this is screaming at me. It's like, I'm empty. Help me. Help me. Hi. Hi. Good evening, everybody that just came in. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So, but these two pages are different paper, beautiful, and they don't clash or anything, but I want more unity in there. So what I've done, I took the base page from the snow globe page from the same release, this one. And that's one thing that I love about uh, uh, this release. It's, it's the, the base pages in this collection are perfect in your journal, no matter what time of year it is. Last year I had the Christmas tree and I had some specific snowflakes on the side, which I loved as well. Don't get me wrong, but this is more generic. You can use these pages throughout the whole year. It doesn't have to be Christmas, doesn't have to be winter. Uh, so that's, that's, I think, a benefit of this collection. So I've cut out this one from the square, uh, for the square journal, but I'm going to put that on here as a matte layer. But I want it to stand out more. So I've got some tricks that I'm going to do to make the background more unified. And yeah, then I've got two different sorts of paste that I'm going to be working with, um, et cetera, et cetera. So, but first things first, I'm going to etch it because etching it will already push it up uh, uh, from the page. So, because I want this to stand out. Now, normally I would etch with uh, Freight Burlap or with my new love, Scorch Timber. But with this paper, you see that? Um, the vintage photo, yeah, does the trick. So, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to come in quite a lot, as you see. So, I'm not being careful. You see that? So I'm making sure there's a nice layer of ink on there. It's because the cat wants to cuddle me, Femke. 
there we go. This collar is beautiful with this specific fetch. So, but I do want that dar even darker edge. You see that? It really draws the eye towards the center already, but I still want my scorched timber. Hmm. Can't live without it. Hi Astrid, goedenavond. Yeah, I do. I also do that. Like these are, I've got all the sizes in here mixed in the Excel journal. I love that. So, uh, I'm just going to touch the edge and that will give it sort of a scorched effect. See that? So I'm just touching the edge there. And that looks a bit like the paper was burnt. I love that effect. See that? Beautiful, right? Thank you for liking, sharing and commenting, Petra. In this case, they're all loose. So um, that's the beauty of the, the, the elastic way to make your signatures. Uh, you can change them around, etc. But I also have journals where I have stitched them together. Uh, or in this case, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to glue uh, this piece onto these bo both of these pages and that will be, yeah, together then. Uh, because that's, but do you see how much more this page stands out now from the base page? Love that. So, next I'm coming back in with my vintage photo. I'm just going to go around this, these pages. So I do both. I stitch them together or I let them loose or like in this cage case, I glue something on there so that yeah, binds them together. Edging makes all the difference, absolutely. I'm even coming in a bit more here. I'm going to give this the same effect as I did with the scorched timber. And that is that pulls it all together fairly. You see? I love that burnt effect it gives. So Hello, back to Florida. Good to see you here as well. There we go. That's that's that. Beautiful. Hey, from Puerto Rico. We're from all over the world here. That's something I think from the internet and, and what we can do here with the lives. We have people from Australia to, to Hawaii and everything in between. Amazing. Look, now this has pulled it all way more together already. So, um, yeah, that is um, uh, the plan for this page. Um, now, I even want this, this to stand out a tiny bit more. So what I've done, I've got another, this is just plain copy of paper, another page from that square page. And I'm just going to sort of center that, making sure that I've got that where I want it. And then what I'm going to do Starting on here, I'm just going to go around. Now, this is an idea. I haven't tested it, so bear with me. <laughs> it might not work. And then I'll make it work, but I think it'll work. Yes, you see, you get sort of a shadow going on. So that's good. That was the plan. So fairly I'm making a mask out of just plain copy of paper. I don't want this to be too dark, that's why I'm using um, vintage photo. But it even pulls it in together even more. There we go. 
Sao. See? It pulls it together even more. Hi, Saskia. Welcome. So, next I'm going to come in with a stencil. And what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to go around the edges. Mm, I'm just looking for a brush. Which one shall I use? Uh, never mind, I'll use this one. Just clean that off. Don't have a clue whether this is going to work. We'll find out together. There it is. I'm going to use Sand Dune. This is a lovely stencil. I'm going to be using that more today. And what I'm going to do, and you won't see much, but that's the plan. That was the idea. So I'm just going to go over that. Lovely. You see that? It just gives it some texture around the edge. That was the whole idea. So it's going to be really tone on tone. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Don't you love it when a plant comes together? That comes from a TV show, right? Oh yeah, the A-Team. Mr. Baracus, B.A. Oh God, I'm old now, <laughs> saying that. And I'm going to use this stencil uh, in a second on something else. But for now, I'm just going to get that texture on there. There we go. I'm not sure you can see it, but what it has done, see that? Very lightly, it has given me the texture of the stencil around the page. And then this one is going to go right there. And now it's all one page, right? Thank you, Theresa. So, let me put this away. Just quickly going to clean my stencil. Now, what I use to clean the stencil? Just some plain, I've got some alcohol in there, some rubbing alcohol. And that cleans them off beautifully. Normally, yeah, there we go. So, because I need that stencil now again. So I'm gonna put, take this one, put this to the side. And then I'm gonna take this stencil, this page, line up my stencil right there. And I'm gonna do it like this. It will all make sense in a second. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some tape. I'm going to put that around the edge, holding that in place. I'm going to use some paste. Thank you all. Right. Then I need, oh, I've already got that here. I was thinking, where is my scraper thing thingy? I need this, I need this, and I'm going to use this. This is Astro Paste by Simon Hurley from Ranger. Fun stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and this is now really a milky consistency. It doesn't stay like that. It dries clear, and the glitter will have the color that I need. So I'm just going to put a good amount here at the top, like so. Just making sure there's enough there. 
So what's left over will go back into my bot here. Thank you for liking, sharing, and commenting, guys. Then I've got this uh, scraper tool. What I'm going to do in one go, I'm just going to go over that like so. And then I'm going to scrape it off a bit. And then here at the bottom, I need to fill it up a bit more. So I'm going to flatten it. And that will push all the rest that's on there into the holes. So and then I'm going to scrape off the excess. There we go. And then what you do, you just pick up this, put it back in. There you go. And take a piece of paper. Clean my tool. And this cleans up with water quite easily if you do it immediately. Don't let it dry, then it's on there. Stencil, I love stencils. That's why I designed them every release because, yeah. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna peel this off. Now this I'm gonna throw away. There we go. Let go of my finger, you, you, you thingy. There we go, and the final bit. There we go. So I'm just gonna put that in the bin down here. And then, I've got a perfectly stenciled background. You see that? So, yeah. Loving this. So quickly clean this up because otherwise I can throw my stencil away and I don't want that. Just need to clean up my mess a bit. Oh, there's gold glitter everywhere now. <laughs> oh well. Let me just See what I can do. Alcohol. There we go. That's better. That's it. I'll get rid of this later. So now we've got our stars and we've got the stars on the page. So that will nicely match up. This is all Astro Glitter. Yeah, it's this one. You can heat set this, uh, but since I've got other things to do, I will just let it air dry. So I'm going to put this to the side and yeah, it, it, will, be am it, it will be amazing when we're done. It's yeah, when it's dry, oh. but I'll show you when it's done. Right, because I've got loads more to do. What I've done, I've cut out my Christmas trees out of craft paper. And I've got a lighter version of the craft paper, which I've never realized, but I have two colors. Um, I'm gonna have to put that, gonna put that on top, but not before we do some stuff to it, right? So what I've got here is some white pigment ink. I'm gonna load up my little brushy and I'm gonna Just tap that on. I like so. See the difference already? Looks like a frosted little tree, right? All astro pastes are glittery. You've got the lunar pastes and, uh, well, the astro pastes are all glittery. There we go. That's that. 
so. Let me grab, oh, I can use this. On top of this, I'm going to do something else. But I'm first of all, let me see, because I've already got a, like a bunch in different sizes. And I just want to show you how to make them different sizes. I, I've, I've showed it before, El showed it before as well. Um, but I just want to show you how to do that. So this is the end result of the trees. And that's going to color beautifully on there. That's going to be beautiful. So, hi Sandra. That's a completely different video, uh, Femke. <laughs> I can't show you now. Uh, Elle showed them in her video with the pastes. <coughs> Excuse me. Those are more metallic shine. And this is glitter. And then he's got other pastes as well. But that's, yeah, you can do a whole video on the pastes from him. So I'm just sticking to the Astro pastes. Uh, first I'm going to make the normal one. And they line up perfectly, so this tree is so pretty. I love it. There we go. That's that one done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this one down because I want it to be smaller than the other ones, <coughs> like this one. So, um, <coughs> now, you can uh, do any size you want. You can even make it as small as this, but in this case, I'm just going to uh, trim this off here. And this here, and this one there. Uh, am I correct in what I'm saying? Just let me double check. It is, right? Yep, so this is going to be trimmed off there. So now we've got the matte layer to size. Okay, what I'm doing next is I'm going to... Uh, this is just the paste from uh, Simon Hurley, Astro paste. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to trim off my tree and I loved what else was saying Wednesday. As long as I don't see my scissors, I know I'm in the right place. And that's true. That goes for this as well. So, whoop, there we go. That is our tree base done. So let me glue that together. I like so. And what's nice about this Astro paste is that um, it's the same consistency as the Luna paste, uh, which is quite creamy and soft. Um, and you can even apply them with your finger if you want to. Um, but the paste itself dries transparent. And the color, because that he's got loads of colors, the color is given by the glitter and not by the paste, which makes them quite nice, I must say. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to trim off this little stem. that. This can go away. Put a bit of glue on there. The glue I'm using is art glitter glue. There we go. So now I've got a complete forest of trees. Cool stuff, right? So what I'm going to do next, I've God, let me close up that glitter glue because, well, there we go. Uh, I've got this stuff as well, Nouveau Glimmer Paste. Um, it's transparent, but it's got like a holographic, you see that? Holographic goldish look. So I'm going to put some on my finger and I'm going to dab that onto my tree. 
just on the uh, matte layer. I could have done that before I glued it down, but I thought, well, you know what, if I forget about it, if, if I um, touch the, the craft underneath, it's not a disaster. So. so these trees will be really frosted and funny. Well, fun, not funny. Never met a funny tree, did you? Have you ever met a funny tree? So, and that will give it a very cute No, completely different, Femke. The spritzes are not glitter. Look, gorgeous, right? Thank you, Laurie. So I'm just dap 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 dap. That's that one done. And it just gives it a bit of sparkle on the trees as well. I was just checking on my... Uh, ...paste, how it's drying there. This is going to be fun! So... And I can always add a bit more later on, but I think doesn't it shouldn't be too much as well so I think this is fun and of course you can make your own if you've got the Elizabeth craft designs glitter uh, and you've got some clear paste go and have a bowl go and have a bowl go to town with that but I'm lazy I don't want to uh, I forgot one typical Sorry guys, just let me do this one. This one tree that got forgotten. You can make a movie about it. The tree that got forgotten. There we go. Done. Now I'm done. Now this dries pretty quick because it's a thin layer that I put on there. You can do this with this with any glitter paste, of course. But I just thought because this is transparent and it's got that holographic glittery stuff in there, I just thought that would be fun. So that is that. I don't know. Two different brands, and it turned out to be two different colors. One is. Fast and the other one, Craft Emotions, I think. I don't know. But yeah, that's... So, look at the shine and shimmer on this. Cool, right? Wait, grab it. So the light grabs it. It's always hard to catch. But yeah. Now this, you can see the yumminess already. It is gorgeous. Ah, yummy. I need to have heat set this. So I can continue with it. Hi, Els. But now it dries. Look at that. Mm. Love it. Love it.
But this needs to be dry now so I can finish it up. But the, the second it dries, the intensity of the glitter and the color comes up. And that, because the milkiness of the paste is gone then. Thank you, Els. Thank you, Ellie. So very tone on tone. Let it cool down a bit. I've got glitter everywhere and I've got to go to a party in a minute. <laughs> when I'm done here, um, and I'm not rushing because I've got time enough, picking up a friend from the train station and then we're going to a party. So that's going to be fun. Cool. So we've got this already prepared. This is going to go there. You see where I'm going with this? But it's still a bit sticky, so let me just give it a bit more heat. Yeah, it's amazing. It's really... Again, this was one of these things that I thought I don't need them. But then I saw a live from Simon and I thought, oh, there we go. Glitter is good for a party. That's true, actually. Yeah. That's true. It's going to be a late night, let me tell you. It's one of those. I'm getting old. <laughs> Not used to that anymore, fairly. That's what it is. But we're going to have fun. Oh, the glitter will be everywhere. Sorry guys, this needs to be dry, so bear with me. While this is drying, let me show you, just in case you missed it. Because yesterday, um, I was live and I made the prompt for the ATC cards. So if you don't know, we have a challenge every month to make a themed ATC card in over in the ATC group from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Uh, and it's never too late to join in. I mean, it's only six months, seven, eight months done now. But I mean, these are fun little projects. And these are the ATC cards that I made. Aren't they cute? These are the houses from my Christmas release last year. But I'm loving these. I'm loving how these turned out. So if you want to know how I made these, that video is out there. Uh, but I, yeah, I just wanted to promote the, the group because it's a fun group and people make fantastic ADC cards. So get your inspiration there. Uh, and these are going to go into my little ATC booklet, which I need to get some sleeves because I'm out of sleeves. So I'm just going to put them there and uh, need to order myself some sleeves. And then I'm ready to trade ATCs again. So. And by the way, this button comes with the, when you order the booklet or the, the journal. This, this is a special size for the artist trading card um, size. Um, so it's the HC journal, fairly. You get this button with it. So this is dry. So let me just, I'm going to fold that in half, lining up the edge. There we go. Get my glue out and glue those together. Now I'm choosing to glue the page down completely, but you can imagine if you just glue it down in a U shape, you've got a pocket or the side you can do whatever you want put tags in there really fun as well you can make it into flat pages you can do so much it's warm in my craft room the glue dries really quick okay let me just line this up because I made sort of a nest for it right so now these two pages are Connected. Look at 
Remember when I told you in the beginning it'll all come together? You see, because the stenciling around, it's the same, but it's, it's far more in the background. This is, uh, yeah. Exactly, that's how it goes, right? There we go, and it still closes, so that's nice. Now, now this is the point where I start to fuff forever. <laughs> so I've got one tree that I'm going to put here, coming off that centerpiece. Then I've got a smaller tree that I'm going to put there, like so. And a small tree in front of that. That's going to be that side. So the sparkly is still coming out of the uh, coming off the page, right? So I'm going to start with that one. Putting that high up. And giving that some time to grab a hold, that glue, I mean, because there's glitter paste underneath, so that takes a while. And then this one. That's coming out of that center. Just putting my block on there to give it some pressure because, well, there's a lot of stuff already in this journal, so there we go. Oh, I love that. And then this baby one is going to go just in front of those, uh, like so, all behind. No, no, no. Here. Yeah, this is what I like. This is what I like. So, a lot of glue on there. As long as it's on there, it doesn't have to be... Thank you, guys. It's fun. It's fun to do. I'm just grabbing hold of this. Absolutely, you can use this for this collection. I mean, if you do green trees, it can be summer. It can be any, anything, fairly. So this one is going to go on this side. Just putting some glue all around. So that's coming off of that square we put in the center. I love this little group, and it's very tone on tone. Yeah, I love it. And then this one is going to go behind that, behind that, David, or in front. Now I'm going to put it in front. Yeah. It doesn't always have to be behind it. Thank you, Annika, for liking, sharing, and commenting. Thank you, Dee. Yeah, it was fun. It was a fun technique on the gel plate. So, there we go. I'm just pressing this down again so the glue can grab hold on the, all that glittery goodness in there. So, what you see is a lot of layeredness. I mean, you see the layeredness in the paper is already very, a lot of depth, but then the stenciling on there, stenciling on here, the layer of the paper, the, yeah, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Uh, where did my glue pin go? Oh, I, I still need it. So what I've done as well with the, the Christmas phrases, I've stemmed them out on craft paper, white craft paper, heat, white heat embossed that. 
and cut this these phrases out. So I've got all is calm, all is bright, and the most wonderful time of the year. Now, hmm, let me see. Where's my tweezers? Here is my tweezers. I just love that on there. So it's all very, how do you, yeah, how do you call this? Now, do I want both of them on there? This is going to take a while, so I'm going <laughs> to close my glue. I can't make up my mind. What do you guys think? One or two? And where should I put them? Questions. Because in a way I like it here, but then it disappears a bit. I could do one there and one here. This could be nice, right? You see it like that? What do you think of this? Give me a thumbs up if you like this. If you think I should do this. Thank you, TJ. It's my pleasure. No, not three. They do disappear a bit, but that's, that's what you get from tone on tone. But I think this is nice. I see a lot of yeses and thumbs up for this one. So let's do that. Um, I know there's so many different possibilities, but... I'm not going to do white splatter. I, th I, I thought I was going to do white splatter. And then I just, now looking at it, I say no. I'm not going to do the other one. Sorry, guys, I've asked you for your opinion. <laughs> but now I'm looking at it and I think, no, all is calm, all is bright. This is quite a calm page, despite the fact that there's a lot going on. But because of the choice, choices of color, it's quite calm. So all is calm, all is bright. Bright glitter, it's nice and calm color-wise. I'm going to leave it at that. So yeah, I'm not going to do the, 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 the white splattering because I think there's enough going on on this page already. I'm not going to risk it, because I don't want to ruin it, because I'm loving this page. Yeah. Let me close up my glue, and then I'll zoom in. So you can really see the glittery goodness. See that? How gorgeous is that? And the glitter on the trees, you see? You see that sort of holographic, but there's also gold glitter, and that comes back with this again. And then all is calm, all is bright. So yeah, I'm, I'm loving how this one turned out. Um, so, not gonna splatter, and I think, I think, this one is done. I'm not going to do any more to it. This went quicker than I thought it would be. <laughs> um, still debating about the white splatter, but I don't think I should do it. There's enough going on. D don't walk away, David. Don't do it. So, fairly, I'm done 15 minutes early. That Didn't expect that. I thought I was going to be late. Um, but yeah, I'm loving it. So yeah, this is going to be a really fun journal just to, to flick through. Uh, this doily is also, I love it. This one I did during a live, right? This one I did at Creating Craft, I think. For the packaging, I don't remember. This was packaging, I think. Yeah, it's such a fun collection to play with. Like if you see, all the different gingerbread houses that we've seen um, from the design team and from you guys already. Uh, it's really fun to see all the different possibilities you've got. This is more of a color one. This is where I did that sweater stencil and just masked it off and did different colors in a row. It's also fun. Mr. Frosty. I think I did this at the Creating Craft show. 
or I don't know, can't remember. This one I did for sure during the live. This is cool as well. This is, oh, Femke, this is the lunar paste. See the difference? Lunar paste, and this is the astro page paste. Oh, Ruli, that's not good. <laughs> I love this as well. You know, the, the see-through with the snow globe element behind it. That's also fun. Exactly, Sylvia. <laughs> Makes you want to sing, right? Oh, this was cool as well. Look, Mr. Frosty out of the out of felt. This was fun as well. Yeah. So that was it, guys. A little flick through through my journal and uh, let me zoom out before I forget. There we go. Uh, that was it for today. I'm, I'm really sorry I'm done a bit early, but yeah, when you're done, you're done, right? And with our journaling, there's nothing you can do in 15 minutes, fairly. That's, uh, um, so yeah, this is the result for today and I am absolutely loving it. You see that? shine and sparkle the dimension on there the depth in there really cool so thank you for joining me today um monday i don't know uh monday was marga i think and then wednesday is esther friday is else i know that but i forgot monday i think it was marga uh, so make sure to tune in for that have fun have a fantastic weekend thank you all for joining me for friday play day and i think we have fun and i will see you all the next time thank you very much Bye.